So our default Debian image doesn't have a lot of tools. So first we want to start, start installing some net tools so we can start managing our computer. So we can go ahead and type in app install net tools. And this will download ifconfig, ipconfig, I mean ifconfig, uh, netstat, and then all of those network managing tools. So once it's successfully downloaded, let's start reading a netstat command. So we can go ahead and type in netstat. And we see a lot of information here. And this is almost too much information for us to start digesting. So let's go ahead and try something easier. Netstat, and let's give it a couple of flags. Plant. So P stands for port numbers. L will be all local active uh, connections. A is all information. N would be numbered and also all active TCP connections. And T will stand for TCP connections. I like writing out in this in the word plant because it's easy to memorize and we get some really cool information. So we see on the left hand side you see the type of protocol. So we see TCP as well as TCP6 which is IPv and IPv6. We can see the local address which is 0.0.0.0, .0 kind of means um, all IP addresses. It's, it's just a generic term for all IP addresses and anything can connect to it. So we see 0.0.0, .0 which is everything on this entire system. And with the colon distinguishes the port number. So right, anything after a colon is the port number. So we see the port number is 22, which the default port number for 22 will be SSH. So this is a local address. So anything on a computer on port 22 can allow connection from a foreign address, which is every single IP address with an exclamation point. So exclamation point in favor of the port number just means all types of ports can connect to it. So any type of machine can connect can SSH directly into our machine if they have a username and password which we configured. So semi-secure. And we can go over to the right hand side and we can see state is listening. That means we can allow a successful connection as well as the program name which is SSHD which stands for SSH daemon which is just Another name for an SSH service is allowing connections from a foreign address, any of any IP address to our local machine. So let's go ahead and read another line. Let's go over to port 80. So these colons are very similar to 0.0.0.0, .0 allowing all connections. So we're allowing all connections. So we have port 80 open on our machine. We're allowing all connections to port 80 because it's listening where we actually establish that we're allowing all connections and we see Apache 2 is running. So once we see Apache 2, well, as soon as we see this line, if you're perform performing network forensics or anything like that, we can see Apache 2 is open, allowing all connections to port 80. And this doesn't include the firewall, this just includes what's currently running on the machine on all processes and servers. services. Thank you.